will inspire uh, young people uh, to go from a GCSE to the future David Attenboroughs. So young people have been concerned about the environment and climate issues for years, so why is now the time to roll out a natural history GCSE? I've only been in the job for six months, uh, but I think in many ways, uh, through geography, through STEM, through citizenship, um, young people have been able to engage uh, with this really important uh, topic that they're passionate about. But I felt, as did my team, uh, that we can go further, which is why we've announced the Natural History GCSE, because I think actually it will inspire uh, young people uh, to go from a GCSE to then maybe doing environmental science A-level and um, the future David Attenboroughs, a future uh, scientists and tech entrepreneurs who can preserve and uh, safeguard our fragile planet. How will this course aid the job prospects of the young people who take it? How will it compare to, for example, biology and chemistry that are already available? If you uh, speak to uh, Douglas here, Doug Burr, who's uh, just been showing me uh, a small part of the 80 million specimens they have in this incredible natural history museum and the scientific research they do here, uh, it, I hope, begins to describe to you why natural history is so important. To learn about what our planet's environment was like uh, in the 1600s. You can do that uh, here. I'm going to be working, uh, my team will be working with uh, Cambridge and with uh, Ofqual, the regulator, to make sure we develop the GCSE in natural history to make sure that we give young people uh, that agency where we can turn anxiety about climate change to empowerment. How can learning about the science of the natural world equip them with the tools to help understand and solve the problems in their future? I'm an engineer by background, a chemical engineer. I think you do both, right? You, you learn about the, the problem, but then you learn about how you solve that problem, which is why I want to see the GCSE, the A-level, that really inspire young people um, to be the future innovators the future protectors of the planet through science, through innovation, through discovery. Um, that's what this is about. And I think we can be world leaders in this. And education has to be at the heart of the preservation of the planet. And so do you have any further plans to add more about sustainability and climate goals into the education system? Well, I want to deliver this and deliver it well. Um, I want to continue to deliver on the um, Education Nature Park. I've announced today that we're going to make sure that there's at least four schools and one college in our Gen Zero. If you visited Glasgow, you'd have seen it's here. Part of it is here. You should have a look at it. Um, this incredible piece of engineering and innovation of how to build the schools of the future, the colleges of the future. So this is a big, big program to make sure we, we really deliver um, an education infrastructure, a system that inspires young people to make a practical, real difference to preserving our planet. Given that this course involves quite a bit of field work, how much do you think schools actually have the resources and the teacher availability to deliver it? Uh, I've announced today how we're going to empower teachers, how we're going to make sure that uh, they have that uh, career path, that training to be able uh, to do that. And of course, I've managed to secure uh, a seven billion uplift in the budget uh, uh, for schools. So we'll be at about 56 billion, over 56 billion in our um, uh, uh, investment in uh, schools alone. The total uh, investment in education in the United Kingdom, in my department, will reach 86 billion uh, by the end of this parliament. Uh, you know, we can always do more, but I think let's try and deliver some of this stuff. And if we do it well, then I think we'll not only inspire young people in this country, but inspire young people around the world. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you, you so much for chatting. Thank you.